All right, welcome to the Straight Red Card. Brett and I are back again, and no, this time I'm going to bother with apologies. We've all, I don't know if you've gotten them, Brett, but obviously on YouTube, we've gotten a number of posts, people saying, hey, what are you guys going to do, wait for World Cup 2014 to come back and do a show? <laughs> well, I my, guess... my pissed off the Serbians again. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, here we are. I mean, I think it's a good time to jump into the Gold Cup. Uh, although, as we speak right now, it is two to one Panama over Mexico in the semifinal, and we, of course, we've already experienced another demolition uh, of an opponent by the United States. Although, you know, it was it, it wasn't a Belize sort of demolition, but it was you still know, still three to one, and that's it. A, yeah, it's funny that you mentioned demolition because I was I was watching the game at a friend's house because I got off work late and we had recorded the game to watch it later, and he was like, you know, I was watching the game against Belize. And not Belize, um, El Salvador. You know, and Johnson comes on, and I'm looking at his hair. I'm like, I know somebody with that hair, that hairstyle. It looks just <laughs> like somebody I know. And then all of a sudden, I think it was Kobe Jones who said it on on the uh, the broadcast. Demolition that, man. Here comes Johnson coming in with the demolition man haircut, and he's like, no shit. And I'm like, I can't because I, I watched that game at the at the bar, so I couldn't yeah. hear Kobe Jones say that. But I'm like, I can't believe he pulled that that quote, that reference. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought so. so yeah. I, I'm more of a movie buff myself, <laughs> so I find that awesome, you know? Well, you know, I mean, it's it's an ugly-ass hairdo. But oh, what, it's terrible. Whatever works, I guess. That lightning strike, on that lightning bolt on the side, what is that all about? That's kind know. of like I tip to the hat to The Natural, is what I'm guessing. You know, you ever seen the movie The Natural with uh, Robert Redford? Mm, I, if I have, it's been a long time. I don't recall it very well. You know, well. Robert Redford hits the home run at the end of the game, and the ball goes and hits all the lights in the stadium, and it's set yeah, back in the I, 40s. I know the reference, yeah. and I, I may have seen the movie a long, long time ago, but I haven't seen it well, for well, some time now. Yeah, we'll have to ask him, you know. Um, we'll have to ask him about the, the lightning strike. I don't think it really is a reference no, to the natural, of course not. That's not. his blazing speed. That's what it stands for. It, yeah, he, well, it's, zoom, it's, it's zoom, light, zoom, zoom. lightning strike. Uh, you know, scoring is what it is. He comes in, boop, goal, you know. Yeah, and, games in a row. And so, point. yeah, I mean, that kind of brings us to the whole debate. So we've got EJ who started in the uh, Honduras game, right? I mean, because Klinsman said, hey, I want to give uh, EJ um, a full 90 minutes. And he did. And he took Landon out and, you know, uh, deeper in the game was the 70th minute or so and, and put Juan Lasky in. Um, Landon didn't look absolutely excited to be taken out, by the way. But, you know, he still got the uh, the double high five from, from Klinsman. I'm sure all is better there. We'll get to that in a minute. But, you know, this whole idea that, you know, I was on Vuvuzela not long ago and the, the other show that I'm off and on, and uh, everybody seemed to think Wondolowski sealed the deal here, and he's definitely going to be on the, um, the team heading to Brazil in 2014. And I said, well, well wait a minute here. You know, let's not <laughs> let's not bark up that tree uh, too quickly, because seriously, I mean, strikers are streaky creatures. And not to mention, we never really bring more than, what, three or four strikers. And now that LD, Landon Donovan, is definitely one of those, and so is Dempsey. I mean, we haven't seen those guys play midfield for a while now for Klinsman. Uh, together, I don't know if they've ever played under Klinsman together. That's correct. But when they've played separately, uh, Landon Donovan now is predominantly a striker, and Dempsey is predominantly a, you know, kind of the reserve striker behind Josie. I just don't, you know, I don't see how Wando fits in right now, especially with as much love as Klinsman is giving EJ. So, you know, we'll see. Here's here's my here's my take on that. You got Josie, you got Donovan, you got Dempsey. Who's going to be your fourth striker? Uh, it could be EJ. It could yep. be Gomez. Mm -hmm. Or it could be Wondolowski. Now, don't get me don't get me wrong. I like Wando. Um, he's a uh, your typical poacher who's in the right place at the right time. Uh, absolutely love the style. However, it's it's not going to pan out. I mean, even pan, um, he wouldn't partner up well with Josie or Dempsey for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, Donovan will be will be pushed back out wide when he goes back onto the national team with the full A squad. I don't see him play as a, uh, another striker unless we play more of a 4-3-3 style, mm -hmm. which very well might be the case. But I don't see where Wando's going to fit into the equation here. I don't either, because really, isn't Dempsey also kind of the guy who can sit in the box and poach mm -hmm. those balls and you know put headers in? 
And Gomez is kind of he does that too, and yep. you know, and he plays in a better league, frankly. And, um, and Gomez can play a different type of striker as well. You know, he can hold the ball up just as well as Josie can, not a little bit better. Yeah, and so, then and then look out of those those six guys, almost every single one of them has also been used at some point as a midfielder down the line, including EJ, except for Wondolowski. Gomez can play out wide. EJ has been forced to play out wide. We know Dempsey can do it. We know Landon Donovan can do it. So those guys have that that uh, that characteristic, which is they are maneuverable. You can versatile. Ma- yeah, they're versatile. You can play them in different parts of the field, and you know Klinsman likes that too. You know, with Wando, you pretty much are going to get one type of, of of player, and if if that's the guy you want, then of course, yeah, maybe he makes the team. But the question is. Don't some of the other players like Dempsey and Gomez already kind of fill that role and play have that same sort of, you know, poachers dynamic? And you know, my answer would be for the most part, yes, they do. They bring that. They bring that plus they offer, like you mentioned before, and the outside the outside options, which allows uh, Klinsman to bring more options in the central midfield as well as the back line as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, the versatile with our the versatility of our uh, of our strikers allow us to open up more roster spots for various positions that we need more depth on um, during a, during the time of the World Cup. Mm-hmm. And what we're seeing with, uh, I think what we're seeing with Klinsman now during the Gold Cup, and they had mentioned this during the broadcast today, is uh, Klinsman is giving a lot of his players time. So he's changing yeah. up the lineups on a consistent basis. Everybody's, for the most part. Yeah, everybody's getting a look. Even guys who maybe probably should have been shuffled home after their first poor performance, uh, i.e. Breck, Breck Shea. You know, we'll get into that later. Today was just as bad. Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> and I don't know how you, well, we'll get into that later. But let's, I mean, let's finish up this, um, you know, conversation about strikers. So, you know, uh, the press continues to interview Klinsman throughout this tournament. And despite the fact that Donovan has played far and above and beyond everybody else on the United States team, I'd say he's been a class above them easily. Um you know what? It's time for Jurgen Klinsmann to stop, you know, playing this game here. Just admit that Donovan is playing a class above everybody else at the team uh, on the team. And just let's just concede at this point that he has obviously earned his way uh back onto the A team. Maybe not on t- not in Brazil yet. I'm not going to go that far. He could get injured, who knows. He could, you know, become disinterested again. Who knows? I doubt that. He looks more interested than I've seen him in two years. And, you know, he's this is the best I've seen him play uh, in two years as well. Um, I think it's just time to just fess up. That's my, my thought there. Quit bullshitting well, yeah, I, us. I, I mean, I definitely think that it's clear that Donovan's going to be back with the A-team. Um, whether or not Klinsman flat out says it, yeah, I don't think it's going to make a difference. I would be absolutely shocked if Donovan was not on the upcoming uh, World Cup qualifying squad. Yeah, um, exactly. Again, as you mentioned, who knows Brazil is uh, you know a year away. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, but as far as the upcoming games, there's no way in hell Klinsman's going to leave him off. No. Uh, Don, as you mentioned, Donovan is playing a class above everybody, and you can you notice that once they took him off the pitch. Exactly. You look at the previous four games. Yep. He wasn't taken off. We continue that dominance all the way through the game. We take Donovan off, and all of a sudden, you know, we're we're not necessarily back on our heels because, I mean, and quite frankly, Honduras didn't have that many opportunities. Right. Um, you know, they were trying some thirty yard thirty yard shots. Just you know, wasn't really testing uh, Romando that often. Right. Um, but yeah, quite frankly, I mean, once you took Donovan off, the 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 dynamic of the team. Yeah. I mean, you replaced several key positions, and all of a sudden we faltered. And you know, mm-hmm. the broad, like I said, Kobe Jones and. Everybody was pointing that out. You know, it's so noticeable. Once you took everybody out, all of a sudden yeah. we lost our chemistry, and it, it wasn't is. fitting together. You know, I mean, he brings that dimension of class that, frankly, <clears throat> you know, a lot of the other players just aren't at that level. They just aren't. I, I don't. I don't know anybody who would disagree with that. No. Um, I'm sure there's some Donovan haters out there that, you know, those are the same guys that tore him up for. You know, taking some time off in... Landy kicks. Yeah, exactly. Take, taking some time off in Saskatchewan in the forests, uh, <laughs> growing a beard and hunting who, squirrels. Who, who started that rumor? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And I did bring it up, and I know we're not going to talk about goalkeeping much because there wasn't much to talk about. Yeah. But how 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 smooth was Ramondo on that one play where he stopped the where he went down 
to stop the ball uh, right next to the edge of the box. Mm. And he got back up, and there was a guy press- pressuring him right there. Yeah. And he just you know, calmly took a touch out to the side and made the distribution out. Well, you know, Romano used to play, what, left back or right yeah. back in it, college. It was so smooth. Yeah. It was insane. Some people you know? say if, if he wasn't a goalkeeper, he could actually play. Yeah. Um, you know, me. as a defender in, in MLS, he's that good. He's that talented with his feet. I mean, you look back on, I don't know what game it was, two or three games ago where he he side-kicked a ball right to the feet of, I believe it was Beasley out wide. I mean, right on the dime. About, you know, it was like a 40-yard kick right on the line. Unbelievable. The guy's, without doubt, super talented. I've always liked Rondo, and I thought I've always said that if he, you know, if he was a handful of inches taller, yeah, um, he, he would he would be out of MLS and he'd be somewhere else. There's the no guy's an absolute beast. It's just unfortunate, but I mean, I'm sure Real Salt Lake fans are absolutely happy to have him at the height that he is. Yeah, what is he five eleven? <laughs> is he five eleven? He looks much smaller than that. He might be five ten. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But he's somewhere around there. He's not six foot. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Which you know, almost every goalkeeper in the world now is at least six foot tall. Um, so you know, outside of the Galaxy goalkeeper and a few others in MLS, you know, most of the guys are are rather six foot one through six foot three ish. Um, but you know, talent can make up for size sometimes. True that. Well, yeah. Um So anyhow, we move on.